But first, we begin with breaking news from Niger, where a presidential election has been disrupted by an explosion which has left at least seven dead. It happened in the Tilaberi region. A vehicle carrying officials from the Electoral Commission hit a roadside bomb. Let's go straight to Ahmed Idris, who joins us uh, from Abuja. Uh, Ahmed, uh, just give us a sense of what we know at this stage. Well, the officials of CENI, the Independent National Electoral Commission in Niger, were in the process of conducting the elections, and when, when their vehicle ran over the uh, improvised explosive device planted by the roadside, and uh, three people, apart from the seven dead, three people are thought to be, are said to be injured in that particular incident, and with some of them having serious injuries. Tilaberi region, which borders uh, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Benin Republic has seen several attacks in the past, and uh, devastating attacks for that matter, where dozens of people have been killed in the last six months or so, uh, including, of course, military targets that were hit by armed groups that have been crossing the border from Mali and Burkina Faso. Uh, attacks like this were fe uh, have been uh, were expected, actually, by uh, officials in Niger. Uh, a lot of uh, concerns were raised previously or even before the uh, elections that these armed groups may try to disrupt these elections. And with this development now, uh, there has been uh, that confirmation that, of course, the election has been disrupted by the armed groups. In other parts of Niger, generally, the elections went on peacefully, with the president and the leading candidates, or, or rather the candidates running for the elections, having voted. And most of the um, voters who are expected to cast their ballot uh, have voted, and the rest are in the process of voting right now before the polls close. OK. Ahmed Idris uh, joining us from neighbouring Nigeria. Ahmed, thank you for that.